Welcome back. It is time now for our morning mix. If you want to see the world and you don't mind being on a cruise ship for a couple of months, then this trip is for you. Princess Cruises just announced a new 2025 world cruise that will take passengers to 26 countries over 116 days. The cruise will set sail in January of 2025 and it's going to include stops in Australia, the South Pacific, the Mediterranean, Africa and Central America, just to name a few. Amazing. That's like every place out there you've yeah. ever wanted to see. OK, the price, though, is going to start about $20,000 for those 116 days. Some people it's amazing the culture of cruising because uh, I know some people retire on cruise ships and yeah. basically if you get good deals and they figure out how to do that, but you got to be OK, like within being in a window this room for that yeah long. I've never been on a cruise so I don't know uh. if I could personally do it but this doesn't sound as good of a deal as the three-year cruise right <laughs> where it was thirty thousand dollars a oh, year that's a much better deal right but I bet you're committing to three years so that's maybe true. people will say okay I want to go but I, I only want 116 days as opposed to three years well, but they're also touring the world yeah you're going everywhere and it's also cool too because you get there's like I think 27 of the UNESCO World Heritage sites too so you're oh, going to like cool. the Egyptian pyramids and wow so probably saving a lot of money yeah if you would just fly into those places yeah 20,000 doesn't seem I mean it's you a really lot gotta money, like the person that you're in the that room with hopefully everyone on the cruise is nice yeah <laughs> all right singer songwriter producer actress you know Taylor Swift she's mm -hmm. already got plenty of titles well now a Florida city, my hometown, yes. wants to give her another one. The mayor of Tampa announced on social media the city is welcoming the pop stars tour to their area by giving her a key to the city and making her an honorary mayor for the day. The city has already changed its official Twitter account to read City of Tampa, Taylor's version. The changes all come ahead of Swift's top and stop in Tampa for a three day concert series as part of her Eras tour, which starts on April 13th. I'm sure I'm going to see a lot of my hometown friends with their photos from the uh, from, from the, the concerts, tour. but yeah, they're like Mayor Swift has a good ring to it. Mayor Swift. I'm so confused. Is it is it not a retirement city? I guess oh, no. you go out there. Oh, okay. Oh, Tampa's no. different. Tampa, so I was yeah. like, how many Swifty fans are oh, in Tampa? There's tons. Really? Tampa is young and bustling and oh. really grown. Yeah. Okay. It's further south that you get more. It was more like Sarasota, but even that's oh. become more bustling now. So yeah, like Sarasota, okay. which is about an hour south of Tampa, all the way down to like Naples is more retirement now. Oh, okay. But St. Pete, like the Tampa Bay area, They'll I mean, there are retirees, up. but it's a yeah. lot of young professionals. Well, they did have families. a lot of different, like there's a candlelight concert, a Taylor Swift candlelight concert. There's drinks being named after her, like meetups of Swift yeah. fans. So I was like, who's going to show up? But now I there know, There will Kristen. be plenty. Yeah, there okay. will be plenty. Well, and too, like you, Glendale, Arizona, I think they changed their name. Arlington, Texas did a street sign. Like every city's doing, doing something, something. And Tampa's like, well, we're extra special, so we're going to go even bigger. I wonder what Taylor Swift thinks about that. Probably grateful. Loves right? every minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs>